Rogers to be the second runner-up is... Natasha is the absolute cutest. She walks into a room and you can definitely feel her energy and her aura. And she has such an incredible story to tell that I think a lot of South Africans will relate to. You don't have to be black, white, colored Indian to hear what her story is. And I think that's such an important aspect of being a Miss South Africa, having that relatability that when people look at you, they see their faces reflected in yours. And so I think that is going to be one thing that will make her so lovable to the people. I've done a lot of shoots before on the beach and I must say Cape Town is truly phenomenal. With the Miss South Africa organization, this is going to be a treat. A healthy body to me is having a holistic perspective on life. So it's focusing not only on physically what you look like, but spiritually and mentally as well. I think at the end of the day, we should all just be comfortable in our own skins and it's truly accepting your body for what it is. I learned from a very young age how fragile life can be, but yet so beautiful when you plan your own destiny. Saying that, it is time for every woman to seize her destiny and step into her power. Next up on the spotlight, Natasha. Experiencing hardship at a vulnerable age, I have learned valuable lessons in life. That's to never give up hope, to claim your destiny, and how to become independent. Likewise, our beautiful country and young democracy is facing challenging times. I pledge to play my part, and I will contribute by speaking up about entrepreneurship and leadership. And I feel that I am that representation to our younger generation. Thank you. Thank you, Natasha. Good evening, Natasha. You look amazing this evening, and you should be so proud of yourself for making thank it this you. far. On March the 27th, our country went to a full lockdown, leaving South Africans feeling deeply insecure, uncertain, and afraid. When things become challenging in your life, tell me about the internal space or place where you go to steady yourself. As a business owner, I know how many lives have been impacted through COVID-19 um, and as it is actually Mental Health Awareness Month, I think it's very, very important to take care of your mental health. Um, what I would personally do is spend time with family and friends, um, revert back and see what you still have left and not only look at what you lost. Thank you.